Audio Gen. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course. Where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate HEV Mark 4 Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with ba basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a set. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me! Good work! Those two suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room. Where you Good work. You will look prepared for the next station. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to go. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you... Keep trying. You'll get it. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you long need jumping to learn. requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up... Nice job! Please start the lift by moving up to the button. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the floor, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused.
To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic! Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. You can try breaking the object the path. Make sure you don't have to throw it, then simply smash your way through the path. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Set the target when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Target range. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. And catch your you will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running through power, step up to any charge. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. 
proximity to radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous icon. Please advance to the next area. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. Sure, he will follow, follow you, you until you face him and press the use key again. <laughs> press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV Protective System.